Hey guys, uh, Taken Hip Taken Hippo here from my Tri School. I'm going to show you how to do the flying effect with a chroma keyer. Yeah. Um, okay, first you want to drag your video, um, both your video clips or your um, chroma key clip. Uh, into your um, um, bottom bar thing. Okay, then to take off the audio, go to group because you won't need the audio. The audio, go to group, remove, and then go to cut. Um, I delete that layer. Inserted uh, another video layer so I can drag that video into it again I'm going to take off the audio and then you can just cut it okay um, So what I'm doing here is I'm moving the the top thing so it doesn't get in my way. The thing that I'm chroma keying, I guess. Uh, I'm just trying to find the beginning clip that I did, which is when I run and then the, basically the transitions are when you switch your gun. So so I run and then switch my gun. And then, yeah. Oh yeah, and this um, clip, like I'm narrating after I recorded it, so it doesn't turn out the same as the other one. It actually turns out pretty shitty, so... Yeah. Um... Okay, so now I'm just trying to find the clip, or the part where, yeah, the beginning part. And now I am finding the part where I, um, where I fly, which is the spectator mode. If you can, as you can, well, you can't see right, you can't see right now, but if you watch my video already. I'll have a link for it, or, or to it uh, below, and yeah, but um, I it shows the spectator thing. You can get rid of that, but it's not as smooth. I sort of screwed up on the the one that I posted, but yeah. Um, still trying to find the spot. Okay, I found the spot, and then, so I just click S to, uh, oh, I click S to split it, if you didn't know that, and then cut the other extra stuff, and then move it down. Okay, here is pretty, it's pretty important if you want to make it look good. Okay, you have to bring it in, you have to, uh, I don't know what it's called, um, yeah, we have to do that. I got it better. You don't want to do it a lot, though. Do it about 0 0.10 uh, around there. It's pretty good. And then it'll look pretty good. Uh, I'm just watching it right now. Okay, zoom back out.
right here I'm trying to find oh crap um I'm actually don't know what I'm getting what I'm doing oh yeah I was trying to find the spot where I um stop it and then pull out my gun again and then kill the guy which is right um right there and then I should have cut it there but I didn't well I still cut that one part not sure what I'm doing right now right here I'm finding the spot where I actually killed someone So about there. I did not think I was supposed to cut that. Oh yeah, never mind, I was. So that's the clip of me. You have to basically do four clips. The beginning clip, the spectating clip, and then the ending kill clip. And then, yeah. And then the chroma key clip, too. So... I'm trying to find a spot where to cut it so I could, um... where I kill him. That's what your transition should look like, because you have to you have to do it there too. Well, you don't have to, but it looks better, I think. Okay, now the time to do the chroma key. Okay, so. I'm trying to find the spot where I switch from my pistols back to my uh, my thing because remember the transitions are always like blank screen so when you're switching your gun so like when I'm in midair I can pull it back out um Okay, oh, never mind. Oh, right here is where I'm finding the clip to uh, end it, to split it. Looks like we're gonna have to end this part pretty soon, but I will get back to you. But yeah, okay. Pretty soon. Okay, now I'm moving the chroma key oh it's just I don't know what really happened here so this part isn't really important I just delete the chroma key clip and then just get it again okay this will be a good time to cut and I will uh, watch part 2 because I'm I can't fit the whole video in and yeah okay see ya